Let's have some good news, some great news. Let's go straight over to London to our great friend Esther Kraku. Esther, you've stayed up really late on the night of the coronation. It's great to see you, as always. You've probably been listening to what we've been talking about. We all watched the coronation. It was night time for us. Esther, I want you to get your thoughts about it. Um, but quickly, I just want to play you a grab from the BBC where it seemed the same thing was going on, this denigration. Just apparently the balcony was too white. Have a listen. Oh. Uh, there, there is a bit of me that we've gone from the uh, the, uh, the rich diversity of the Abbey to a terribly white balcony. I'm <laughs> very struck by yes. that. I'm also looking at those younger generations and thinking, uh, what are the nuances that they will inhabit as they grow? So, Esther, tell us about that. But first up, just give us your thoughts on the coronation. You've been there. What's it been like? I mean, the coronation was, I, I must admit, it was Fantastic. I streamed it on my phone and with my brother as well in the living room. Um, so I was watching on two screens while it was happening. Um, and it was really exciting. I mean, there were loads of sneers saying this is, you know, too traditional. Um, but that's what makes this country great. It's the fact that, you know, we, we were able to stick to such age-long traditions and still represent this country and, and all the realms and, you know, all the members of the Commonwealth in the best way possible. Um, it was really a proud moment. I know many people that travelled from very far to actually attend the coronation because it is a moment in history. I mean, for many people, this is their first coronation ever. This is the first coronation in, in decades. So it was very exciting. Um, the weather wasn't too bad here in London, actually. Uh, contrary to popular belief, it was just drizzled slightly, which was actually, uh, you know, very British <laughs> in that sense <laughs> yes. as well. Um, with regards to that, the, the BBC pundit saying that the balcony was all white, I, I found it extremely distasteful. I can't believe that our national broadcaster actually let that air, um, but I have many problems with our national broadcaster, mainly because we have to pay for it. Um, yeah. But I just, I found it very confusing uh, because it was just such a contrast to all the developments and the progress that we've made. You know, such a multicultural coronation ceremony with different faiths and people from all over the, the realm and the Commonwealth. And for this pundit to sit on TV and say, oh, unfortunately, a white family happens to be white. And it was exactly, <laughs> which is exactly what she said. It, 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 was, it was incredible to me. I just, I just couldn't believe it. Um, I, I, I thought you know, way to, way to paint the obvious. I mean, I remember when, watching the coronation, you know, I saw so many traditional leaders. I saw a leader that I recognized from Ghana, you know, Otumfo Seitutu, um, who is the the, the ch uh, chief of the Asante kingdom. And he was there in traditional Kente garb. And I was I was so impressed by how multicultural that ceremony was. I can't imagine at his coronation if, if a BBC pundit said, actually, oh my gosh, the, the royal family is too black. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, but apparently it's okay with the British royal family. <laughs> <laughs>